CBP, I've authorized the deployment of an enormous amount of resources to Southern Florida to make sure that we can effectively receive people that are coming in from the Bahamas. Already we, we've received two uh, cruise ships, uh, thousands of, of folks that we have processed. Uh, flights are coming in constantly. Uh, we've deployed additional folks out to even the small airports. We're reaching out to the aviation uh, uh, companies and corporations to coordinate. We're coordinated with the cruise ships every single day to make sure we can do that effectively in a timely process. That doesn't mean that we do this with a blind eye. We still have to balance the humanitarian need and assistance of those that need it versus the safety uh, of this country. So we still will go through the process, but we're expediting that process, putting more resources down there. We're waiving the normal fees. I could go on and on with what we're doing to try to expedite the process, but keep in mind, there are still people that are inadmissible to this country. There are still people coming here that could have criminal convictions. We are going to process them and handle them normally to make sure this country is safe. It really is dependent on on the level of, of reconstruction and recovery, right? So we, we will make that determination as that goes on. Again, our first and foremost concern, years, months? again, it, it depends on how long it takes them to recover and rebuild. Again, our the United States government, including uh, uh, CBP, our first concern is, is the, the safety and well-being of those. So no, we, we would not support returning people where to, to a place where it's not safe for them to, them to be.